<laughs> okay. Well then, how'd it do, everybody? <laughs> this is the uh, Winter Chills podcast. Um, it's Hal, uh, joined by Flat Jacket. And, um, oh, shit. And face is deep throating a desperado. <laughs> I'll grab some tissue. So great to have you on. Um, <laughs> Thanks for having me. How was your day? It's been pretty good. Just spending it with you the whole time. Yeah. Made, Made some beats. Yeah. Live performance coming up after the show. Yeah, which we pre-recorded. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely coming women, up. <laughs> <laughs> women say that, but just realised it was light. It would have been yeah, light yeah, outside. Yeah. As it came out of my mouth, I realised how much of a yeah. yeah, I was. Um, yeah, man, how's it How's it going in general? How are things? Musically? Or? Uh, we won't get on that yet. How are, how's, how's the old... Uh... Life's pretty shit at the moment, the whole coronavirus. Yeah. Do you have it? Yes. Can't get much recording done. No. Because no one wants to come around my house. <laughs> so it's all, it's all good. Yeah, so um, let's go straight into it. I mean, face. Mm-hmm. Why face? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> um, I... Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's actually right. on Amazon Music. It's actually F to the power of C E. Whatever that. Do you think you're fucking Einstein, mate? Or something no, shit? I didn't. It's just. Yeah, it's just. F to the power of C E. I have no idea. It's just the. Um, you need to work it out. When you speak to Alexa, it doesn't say face because it reads it literally. So it's F to the power of C E. That's very funny. That should be your name then. So that's everyone right. calls you face, but that's actually your name. Yeah, on paper. Fucking plebs. On paper. Yeah, on paper. Um, but yeah, I came, it was like, I just came up with like strange face one day and then my mate was like, no, just take, make it face and that that's sounds fucking cool. It, yeah. And there's no artist out there called face, which is hard to find in this Verified day Verified, tick on Spotify. I am, I am. Everybody. Not that I think I've got about 200 streams on my first song, but. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Okay, no, fair enough, man. I mean. Most people overthink it and shit, don't they? So yeah, it's quite cool that you've got. It's quite a you know, it's easy to remember. There's nothing. Yeah, it's like it's simple. Yeah, and it's to the point. And yeah. you know, it's just it's not about the name. It's what you make out of the name. You know exactly. What kind of fucking name is the Rolling Stones? Yeah, that's a shit name. So fucking trash. Name. I could I could name worse. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers. That is a good name, bro. No, it's not. You are. Fucking your you favorite band. Oh yeah, <laughs> their original band name. No, what is it? It's like uh, fucking mystical Mike and the. Oh my god! I have to look it up quickly. Yeah, I'll yeah, no, need cool. to look it up quick. <laughs> Why the fuck? Okay, I mean, at least they changed it. Come on, it's better than mystical Mike and his band of pedophiles. You see, isn't it? <laughs> that was their old name. Yeah, like when they were when they played like. Yeah, same. I had no idea, bro. Bro. Oh, so it was to <laughs> it was Tony Flo and the mirac miraculously majestic Masters of Mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. That's a fucking mouthful, isn't it? Easy to remember. Oh dear. Okay. Well, um. So just thinking, I need to calm down on the on the THC phase. Yeah. <laughs> that shit potent, y'all. Yeah. Um. So the the gram before we touch on the actual music. Mm -hmm. Um. Why the black and white look? What were you going for with that? Just looks cool. Just looks cool. You're fucking great at this, aren't you? No, there's no. <laughs> it's, that's the thing. Like, I do so much shit, and none of it has meaning. Okay. Um, so you're very. I guess much in, a, like in itself, spontaneous in, a, in itself, that could be a meaning. That everything yeah. I do doesn't have a meaning, but that's just looking way too far deep into it. I mean, so this face thing, um, like, does your face change? What face are you wearing today? <laughs> Your man of many faces, I assume. What is faces face? <laughs> I'm wearing the. Uh, How many faces does face have? M yeah, many. No, but or give me what face are you wearing today? Happy face? Oh, okay. clowny face? Uh, I don't know, clown face? Yeah, those days. Slightly baked face. <laughs> <laughs> That's most weekends. This has definitely been shot on Saturday or Friday. Yeah, I yeah. mean it's self isolation. So what else you meant to do? In these tough times. No, we don't smoke weed. Don't know what you're on about. Nah, mate. None of that. Nothing. None of that business. Anyway, cheers. Drinking responsibly too. Yeah. Um, I only brought. Two, oh, I am. I only brought two yeah. drinks with me. So. I mean, let's not get them out on the so table, but there's a lot more. Allowance. Well, I tell you what, I got. I got some shit that none of you at home can afford. Look at that big boy. Uh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna have to yes. try some of that. Yeah, no. Open, crack it open, mate. Have a little it's, sip of it. You'll fucking like it. Oh, well, wait a bit. Get okay. get into the box. It was yeah, so let's not get carried away. <laughs> um, 
So what face are you wearing, sorry? Uh, you say my slightly baked face. Um, chilled. Yeah, it's pretty chilled out. Cool. You know. So um, let's. So, so what got you into music? What uh, made you start? Because you're originally a drummer, or were you originally a guitarist? Guitarist. So I mean, I'm. My dad plays guitar, and um, did he like make you get lessons? He, no, he didn't make me. He taught me. I oh, taught Just you. kind of if he realised that I wanted to get into it, I was like, I must have been like ten when I got my first guitar, but I didn't play at all for like years. When did you start? Then? Started. Oh, I could. I think when I was like twelve, I remember I could play a few chords. Okay. We'd do like um, I could play fucking Wonderwall. Mm. That used to woo everyone, like my mum and my nan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, actually, played in front of a class once, yeah. year seven. What, yeah, yeah, fucking... it was really cool. <laughs> yeah, um, you're a cool guy. yeah, everyone, yeah, everyone wanted to be mates with me after that. Of um, course, yeah. What was I saying? Fucking well, yeah. So, what um, got you into music? Yeah, so I was playing guitar um, around year nine. It was when like I was in music class with like Jacob and Elliot. Shout out if you guys are watching this. Shout out the fam. Um, oh, and we kind of like put a little band together. Yeah. I was slowly getting into. What were you like, called then? Magic Mike. Uh, we didn't have a name for like uh, a year. We progressed, so we just did like covers of like ACDC. It was shit. Back it in was, black? It was back. It was yeah. It was back. Or, or Hell's Bells. Or no, it was back in black. Back in black yeah. uh, we did a banging, a banging cover of Yellow by Coldplay. Oh man! Towards the end of the year, because I, I was Underrated. getting, I was getting a lot into like classic rock. Okay. So I bring forward these really hard songs, which I was so in denial that I thought we could play them. Yeah. So oh, like, I wanted yeah. to do like Hotel California. Oh nice, yeah. And I was like, we can just, I can get two different guitars <laughs> on stage. Like, I was like thirteen. Um. So yeah. And then I was in a band for like two years. And that was like, what? This is um, primary, uh, secondary school still, yeah? Yeah, so we formed Presence, which was fucking banging classic rock bands. Yeah. Everyone seemed to like us. Like we played at Beaconstock and everyone loved it because we like was one of the only bands that like original songs. Okay. We actually didn't really do covers. We just write them, me and Barney. Yeah, because most people were Shout out to Barney. Shout out Barney. Um, yeah, and then like throughout GCSEs, that band eventually fell apart, which was sad, but I think we just kind of lost the passion for it. Okay. And then I kind of just, at that point, when I got to about year 11, I knew that I just wanted to pursue music as a as a career. And I think really, weirdly enough, I think that kind of summer holidays in 2016, I was watching like Straight Outta Compton, which is the NWA movie. Oh, I've never actually seen that. I've not got around to it. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was just watching like Dre in the studio and it just looked so cool. And I was like, I want to do that. I've gone the complete opposite direction. I haven't yeah. made hip hop music <laughs> at all, but yeah. it started with that, and I started making beats and but all was kind of like crazy. Was it like a defining band? Like, was it the Chili's? The really they got, got you into music. music. You were like, fucking hell. Yeah, it's like John shit. John Frusciante. Yeah, like, shout out John Frusciante. Yeah, he won't. Be, but <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it if he was. Shout out, yeah, mate. Um, shout out Fufu Frank. Yeah, so shout out Idubs. So. Oh, you put me off track now. I was Sorry, man. About <laughs> no, yeah, um, so yeah, so you. So yeah, John Frusciante. That, yeah, John got, Shante. got me into it a lot, just as a musician, as a person. He was just so fucking cool. Yeah, he's he's a um, legend. Yeah, I got a tattoo about him as well. Which is octopus because he's got an octopus on his arm. It was like one of his first oh, okay. tattoos. Is that why? Just because? Yeah, why? just to represent yeah. like him and just what got me into music. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And man. made me I the like person it. I am. Tattoo as well. As gay as it sounds, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, like, fast forward, you know, seven years or whatever. What are you listening to now? What's um? Why have you made this? What made you do the switch to? What am I listening to now? To rock and drums and guitar to being a DJ. Yeah. So. And obviously, original artist. Yeah. So it's Shout just out, like uh, face. I can't. There's been transitions of it. So I'd start from like wanting to produce band stuff. Right. And then I started getting into like when I first joined college when I was like 17, I, I knew I wanted to do production. Mm. I didn't really know what, just kind of making beats and working with and like singers. Nowadays, and I was people. shit. But then I've, I think I eventually got into like EDM through like, I think watching like Shout um, out pills. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I don't know what you're on about actually. Yeah. Um, I'll put a bruh over that. Pills. That was a bit of a late, that was a bit of a late response. But, um, yeah, like I saw an, an Avicii masterclass mm -hmm. and it just looks so much fun creating music that way. Um, and having so, because I was 
come from like the band world of writing music where you've got like so much different structure and you've got changes in a song because it's a rock song i've kind of i think edm is the best way to take that into mm. the like computer platform because you can have the intro because when it came to writing songs like i would sit in my bedroom for ages on a guitar and like writing an intro and a verse and a chorus yeah without lyrics and i've kind of just taken that into the edm kind mm. of world and I've gone through so many genres of like making music so far of EDM, like house, future bass, which I got stuck on for a while. And recently I've like had a newfound love for like drum and bass, yeah. kind of like drum and bass with like melodic aspects to it. Like people like Sub Focus and Dimension, uh, 1991's pretty cool when he lives in Crowborough. Shout out 1991. Shout out 1991. Um, yeah, so. So like it's going to be kind of drum and bass now, but also just to suit the artists I'm working with, might do a few like deep house songs and future bass songs and yeah, yeah, so all over the shop basically. Yeah, just electronic music, big yeah. synths, big ideas. Yeah, cool. Man. So like, is would Sub Focus, for example, be the kind of thing that's put you on to this change in music style? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's also my mates. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> it's also. Watching. My Shout mates. <laughs> um, yeah, my mates are like Stuart and Jacob. Shout out, Shout Shout out, out Stuart. Stuart. Jacob's got two shoutouts now. Um, yeah, they, they're massive drum and bass heads. Just hanging out with them. They got me into it. They listen to more like aggressive shit, like roller drum and bass, which is just the absolutely disgusting sounds. Ooh, um, I might be into that, to be fair. Yeah, but I'll have to give that a listen. Um, they're both more, they showed, you know, showed me a bit of sub focus and all that stuff and really connected with me. Yeah. It's got a lot of emotion to it, which I like. Aww. And it's energetic as well. So, yeah. and I saw sub focus a few years ago. And um, were they? A few years ago, I'm on about a few fucking, that, a few weeks say, ago. Wasn't that like last week? Yeah, last week. week um, <laughs> So I'm gutted I can't Ooh, drink properly. You know, man's got to drive. I live on yeah. a... <laughs> okay, so who's number one right now then? Just literally listening to. Number Artists. One. Yeah. Oh, this... It's all. It's probably some focus at the moment. I, I mean, he's I'll definitely trying to get into that. He's very... Has he released any new stuff lately? Yeah, he's put out like two songs in the summer. Oh, a few songs. Um, Sorry, no. Southwest Fall like a few years ago. Was so. he good? Yeah, 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 it was really good. He's yeah, he's great, and he's he's quite he's a bit older than like all the kids doing drum and bass as well. So yeah. he's a bit more intellectual, I guess. He knows a shit about like modular synthesis, and which not many fucking producers know these days. Which is why I respect him for. It. I always find that I get into people who I respect as musicians because then it's easier to enjoy their music if so you respect like, them. Are you into modular synthesis? Ooh. I'd like to. One day, yeah. when I have the money. Yeah, it's quite, <laughs> um, it's quite an investment to be it made. Seems, it seems really interesting as a whole. I mean, it seems like it's so unpredictable, the sounds that you can get out of it, and I really like the idea of that. Yeah, yeah. You know, not being fixed to anything. Yeah, you, just, you, you watch Andrew Huang, don't you? Yeah. Shout out Andrew Huang. <laughs> I'm sure he's watching. <laughs> I'll edit that in. Yeah, I'll hopefully I'll be in one of his uh, full producer's flipper sample. Oh, you will be, Beat one, one day. Week. Yeah. On the top of artists, like, um, what's your guilty pleasure? What's faces? Guilty pleasure they don't want to tell me about. Oh, <laughs> you must have some fucking filthy ones. I feel like I don't know. Completely out of the genre. Completely out of the genre that you. Yeah. Would um, to. My Chemical Romance definitely one of them. Still to this day. Uh, I got into them really late. Fuck. I think Ollie got him into me. Shout out Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Ollie. He got me into him like when I was like eight, like literally two years ago. Um, but I'd never like to admit. I like to listen to him. A lot of a lot of my friends don't like him. A lot, a lot of people think that don't yeah. like him. Um, so they're definitely one of the bands. So you didn't buy a ticket and go and see them a couple months ago? No. Or did you? No. Nah. You didn't tell anyone? No. Nah. No, I just didn't. Okay. okay. Just, just making sure, man. Um, yeah, what, what are yours? I mean, I don't even know like, anything, bro. Like... I listen I to K-pop, bro. BTS, shout out BTS. You actually, you're watching. Yeah, I like all that shit, bro. Is that, guilty? Pink, that is definitely a guilty Twice pleasure. is my favourite. You should be ashamed. I like Justin Bieber's new song. I'm cutting that out. Okay. Actually, to be fair, okay. <laughs> I'm cutting that shit out, bro. Here's my guilty pleasure. My proper one, Skrillex. I know it's uh, it's it's in the genre of EDM. 
it's it's only guilty pleasure because so many people like to hate on him but oh, he's, okay. he's a fucking genius yeah production wise he really is so he would be like even that old school like 2012 2011 skrillex like yeah nice monster well scary monsters EP. No, that would yeah. be my guilty that pleasure that or like beautiful. justin bieber's like um baby nah like sorry yeah oh yeah sorry Just, justin bieber's oh, a really good artist people just yeah. don't like to admit it yeah yeah he's good he's, Which just, is why he's, guilty, he's just fucking yeah. annoying <laughs> true <laughs> Sick of his shit. I think actually he's actually a nice guy. He's from Canada. My family from Canada. Um, shout, shout out, out Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Canada. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah. They're always doing. Anyone's doing well in Canada. Yeah. Um, people just like to hate him because he's too nice. You know, he is just a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, of course. The beeps. Let's refill. Insert. Glug, 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 glug. Can you beatbox? I can't beatbox. Like, can you make any sounds like people can go, mm, mm, mm. no I do like oh, that they do, like, they do that yeah but you're, like that. you're cheating because we've got some fucking nice presets on it that's going to sound pretty big probably oh, I don't think it's cheating I think I can beatbox <sighs> come by cheers cheers guys Dun. this is the podcast where we invite people on and just drink while they look at us or we'll smoke weed honestly yeah <laughs> <laughs> would you like some yeah, mate, I would love some. Yo, we need to show we, some, some. Everyone go out and buy some Corona, man. Like they've lost millions. Yeah, seen all that shit. I've, I've, just because of the name, that's so unfortunate. Can you imagine? I think that I think that's million? that's more the fault of the people. They're just fucking retarded. Yeah. What difference? Because it sh- shares the same name. Should you know? Should they go out and buy? I think not buy it. Sorry, because yeah. like for people. Yeah, it's like. It. What's, what are they gonna think? They're gonna get it from drinking it. It's a bad thing, so I can't go near the yeah. name. Yeah, like, like bad vibes. Yeah, exactly. I did see. I did see a picture from I think it was Sainsbury's. It was literally the only alcoholic item on the shelf. What Corona? Yeah, there was there was a picture. Literally, it was empty shelves, and there was a full stack of Corona. Idiots. <laughs> it was it's a decent a drink as well. Beautiful picture. Yeah, I I rate Corona. Yeah, I, I do prefer Desperados. Shout out Desperados. Yeah, it's got the like tequila shot in here. Uh, this brothers, you never know. Twenty more episodes, and uh, oh, that will get straight to your head. But yeah, man, yes. Show some, show Corona some love. Donate now. Uh, Did you get a um, Corona sponsor? They y- might, yo, they might. they're desperate times. We will take like two crates and we'll sponsor the fuck out of you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've already heard. Everyone's yeah. listening, mate. We've got all the famous people listening. John Frusciante is fucking watching this. So. Yeah, I mean, it's proven the fact that they're listening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about um, your most recent release. Which is my only release. Yes. But is- there's more coming, I've heard. Yeah, there's more in coming the works, really, in the really works. soon. I mean, I've, got a, I've got one ready. I'm just waiting for the artwork to be done. Fucking artists. <laughs> they could be watching this, Dylan. <laughs> Shout out. Shout oh, out I, I mean, oh, sorry, I didn't know there was a negative. Oh, in- yeah, shout no, out, I'm bro. Joking. I'm no, joking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've got one ready to release. That's what what um, genre? So what genre? Because like, like the last one was... Yeah, this, I don't know how to classify the genre, forgive me, yeah, but like I, I chill... Know. It's like chill electric. Chill electric, electric music. travel music. Yeah. But it was fucking banging, mate. I still rep that. Thank I you probably listened much. to yeah, it like people, I got, 20 times this week, more than once a day sometimes. I didn't get a, enough listens that I wanted, but I got all the people that listened to it. You know, no one... Not that they would, but no one turned around and said they didn't like it. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no one would, though. Yeah. No one tells you they don't like True, your True, but I mean, like, were they? what were they saying? They're saying nice things about it and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I had I one mean, guy, my mate, um, <laughs> shout out, Reese. Um, he um, he was like, oh, it's not my not my kind of music, but oh, it's good it's, anyway. But that was like the only kind of... That's good and honest. Well, it I wasn't negative. Well, didn't I, it wasn't but, a negative. But really. I liked it because it's travel music and I like watching but, travel music. Yeah, shows, that was the so. only kind of, like... Yeah, that's, pointer, that's, that's like I guess. even better thing, if anything, if, if someone doesn't like that kind of genre, but they still tell you that it's a good song. Exactly, so, yeah, exactly. They're, they're still fucking with you. Like. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, yeah, all the responses I've got from that. And the next song coming out is like a... So can we get a name? Uh, exclusive. <laughs> it's called All You Need. <laughs> all You Need, yeah. Uh, I've got some vocals. I've got some soul, soul vocals in that one. Um, not from anyone specific, just from some samples. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm excited for it to be released. And then after that, I'm... What genre is that going to be, sorry? Yeah, kind of like housey kind House. of... Um, 
I guess it's house. It's the tempo of house. Is it similar to the old um, live set kind of thing? You did like a... It was more that was oh, drum no, bass. Yeah, part. no, it's not. But then after that, I've got a few drum and bass tracks coming bass out. Tracks. Uh, working with a girl called Lucy is a fucking amazing singer. Shout out Lucy. Yeah. Um, from Brian? Uh, I met her in Brighton at college, but she's... Shout out Lucy from Brian. From Hastings, I think. Fucking I think it's hell. Hastings. She got right out of there then. Uh, she Hastings. drives. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I mean though. Fuck so Hastings, yeah, we're yet to get the vocals down. So I've got that one. I've got another one, which I'm mixing now, which yeah. is almost finished, which I, I might... I was going to say, I think you're also doing a collaboration with Lil Root. I don't know if you've heard of them. <laughs> I might have heard of him. Um, so can't really say too much on that right now. Shout out Lil Root. I think Shout out Lil Root, bro. Um. <laughs> Gang shit. Gang shit. Um, yeah, no, we've got it. we got it coming out. I've got working on a beat for them. Quite a funky beat as well. It's got some funk to it. What the fuck? I thought they were like trap metal, bro. Cheers yeah, to well, that's the Cheers idea. Cheers to Lil Root. Yeah, this is just an important to overlook. I heard all their members have massive cocks as well. Yeah. Uh, you have to excuse me for a second. Being hot, I'm just going to... Oh, well, you can strip on cam. We get more views for that. Oh. We're demonetized yeah, anyway. Get... So, yeah, so any other collaborations on the uh, I've got one with uh, Mind and Gum. Mind and well, Gum, shout Barney, out Mind and Gum. Barney and Elliot from Mind and Gum. I don't know if the rest of Mind and Gum know about this yet <gasps> or if it's even going to be a Mind and Gum. Might have to just beep all over all of that then. <laughs> just um, continuous. I mean, they'll know once it's out, but yeah, I'm meant, I'm meant to be working with them next week. Yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how this whole yeah, um, lockdown sure. thing goes. But normally I work on the music beforehand. What um, do you mean by that? Sorry. So if I knew I was, so what I've done with Lucy, who I'm working with, is like I make the whole song beforehand, almost plan it all out. Like I would, like I said, when I was back in the band, kind I of bringing in those old. You have that kind of mentality yeah. looking, in, looking at music. Yeah. And I can hear, you know, I know what the vocals want, but for see what you the mean, one yeah. I'm doing with Barney and Elliot, because we haven't, like they're the ones from my old band, because we haven't worked worked together in a long time uh, I just kind of want to write it all while we're all there yeah okay. see what we get from it sometimes your ideas can be limited if it's just one person are you quite fast at the process of writing and stuff yeah um, some ways yeah. how long does it how long was it for your latest um, track that not the latest release or anything but the latest one I made which the latest I one you, you made yeah yeah oh I did that in a day a day how many hours are you looking at like like six seven hours is that it no. Um, like, like it's so actually writing the track. Yeah, yeah. just writing. I mean, I'd like, say like I mean, there's breaks like six or seven hours, probably. Um, yeah, once I'm in that kind of creative zone, I can just fucking go for hours. Because I'm different. Like, I'm I kind of do like bits and pieces. Like I've done a few songs in one day, but I'm like twelve hour days. Yeah, no, the best tracks which I do, I've done in one sitting. Once I mean, sometimes I'll take a break, come back, add another part. But if yeah, I but keep coming, yeah, yeah. if I keep coming back and forth, I eventually just get bored. Oh, and I I just, I've got so many it. undone projects. Like probably you listen to it too much by then, haven't you? Yeah. Well. So I'm already onto the mixing. I mean, I started that track three days ago, and I've almost finished mixing it completely. And you mix and master everything yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, master it. I'm not much of a master engineer. Just slap over it, an eight on there. It still sounds like. You know, it's I not, don't know what the AAA title would equip, music equivalent would be, but it sounds like mm. professional to me. Like I wouldn't be surprised if yeah, that was the on the radio as well, or something. It's you, know, quite, you can end up being quite self conscious as a musician. Yeah, when I'm listening, to, like that sixteen dreams, I listen to it. I think it doesn't. Dreams, yeah. I think it just you can tell it sounds like a kid that made it on his laptop. No, but mate, to I everyone think else, selling yourself. Yeah, I've got to, I've got to think of it from someone else's yeah. point of view. You know, <clears throat> but um. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, they sound like super professional. I don't know what you're on about, honestly. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. That's the that, that's the thing. Like, I guess we can say that with you, though. Like, I feel like as an artist, you're never really fully satisfied. Oh no! Like, I don't think I've ever liked anything I've ever made. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I, you know what? I know when something. I know. There's never. A, there's never like a ceiling for. Yeah, I mean, I know. I know. Um, Everyone else is going to like it when I really fucking like it. Oh, right, yeah. So we got this track called Casino and like, I just made it randomly. Like, I all my like, all the um, sad songs that you hear from Little Root and some possible Allah stuff is all just me at like 11 o'clock. I love, I love that kind of stuff. I love singing songwriting music as well. But like, that's how I do that kind of process. But I yeah. like those kind of songs. But like everything else, I'm like, I think... 
I just overthink it because like, oh, it's not complex enough or the production doesn't hit yeah, as hard as I want it to be. I can think like that. Um, a lot of the time I do sometimes think I'll wait till the mix and see where that comes out at the mix. Because yeah. sometimes like, energy can be lacking. And sometimes, yeah. you know, I'll go to add in three or four more fucking synths and you don't need them. And you yeah. take them, you know, you can play them for a bit of it's like, yeah, it sounds good. And you take them out and you say, actually, it sounds better without it. And then you can fix it up in the mix. And the energy can come in the mix okay. when it comes to side chaining. Yeah. Like giving it giving it some that nice kind of EQ. Yeah. Peak around yeah. like seven K, giving it that brightness. Um yeah, side side chaining is massive. Yeah, side chaining is and just compression. Like oh my god. Just love that shit. Compression can uh, do all so the much compression. To just listen to all the compression on this voice, man. How do you what do you think? Do you like the compression? I mean, I mean, I can't hear it personally. Yeah, I mean, it's so I, great. I heard it through the headphones earlier. You're using uh, the Nectar. Yeah, ne shout out Nectar, bro. Shout Hook out. me up with some new shit. Yeah. Is that an Isotope? Yeah, Isotope. Shout yeah. out Isotope. I only use o Ozone 8, but... Ozone 8 is the fucking shit. Get Ozone 8, bro. It saves my life. Yeah, even bro, if you, Isotope. Even, I know you've got some plugins. music, just get fucking Ozone just 8. fucking get it. <laughs> For £10 a month, bro, what's wrong with you? Two, two £10 years. £10 a month? I don't think you can with Ozone Yeah, um, Splice does it, bro. Oh, I didn't shout out Splice, that. man. Fucking shout out Splice. So yeah, you're, so you're quite quick when it comes to like thinking of ideas. And you're uh, you're quite a talented uh, pianist, I'd say. Oh, thank you. Um, even if it's not like in the traditional sense, yeah. I reckon. I mean, I've been. Self you're very good at the blues. Like when you play on guitar and um, yeah, that's, keyboard, that's I get what I kind of specialized vibes. in. Yeah. I guess if I specialize in anything as a guitarist. Um, yeah, blues. Cause but just... hear me out though. Blues, drum and bass. Oh, they're definitely. I mean, there's definitely. I've definitely heard some out oh, there. Oh, really? Already. I oh, mixed yeah. some in that mix we did earlier, which mm. we'll hear afterwards. Um, oh yeah, but I know, like, because I always get. I know the blues scales and stuff. And when it plays on guitar, I'm like, okay, this is blues or whatever, and piano. But like in that context, I can't notice it. If that makes sense. So I guess the first, you know, the first track I did with the yes. bam, bam, yeah. bam, 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 that's yeah. technically technically block rock blues. But I guess the blues in like most things. That was isn't a subfocus track, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Shout um, out subfocus <laughs> again. Um, <laughs> Like more than once, I think. There needs to be a cap of shout-outs. Shit. Um, How about now? Just no more shout-outs. No one's going to be watching this well, shit I think anyway. Maybe two two more shout-outs, so you have to, you know, like, pay them. So if you want to choose... I kind of like it. I mean, we've got a sub, uh, you know, like a thingy shout-out sub counter just there or something. So yeah, yeah. I, I reckon we're at, like, 50 with that. I don't know. What do you say? We'll, well, we'll we look it out. It's right over there. We're on 50k. Like we're on fifty, right? I think I think we should go up to like twenty or something, and then we're after that we're probably just begging it a bit. So. I think I mean this is just a so shout out podcast. How many how many are you gonna do? Are you gonna start live streaming them? I'm gonna be doing them until I die I, next can week. I, can I come on many 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 many? You many can. Many. I, I like you. We probably could live stream them, but not yet. There's no guarantee that people will watch. We them. no. There's no that, what. <laughs> 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 So what is in your studio? Tell me, I really need to know. Yeah, so I've got, uh, so I've got two synths. I've got two Korg synths. I've got a Korg uh, mini log, and I think it's a monolog. Sorry, it's like the newer version. It's a fucking beast. For yeah. The size it is a beast. And recently, I got the King Korg. Yeah. Which I haven't. It's more like a digit, like that. So the monolog Korg is uh, analog. Yeah. And the King Korg is digital. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I was gonna say I know Korg are quite known for all their monologue sim simps. I've never even the analog stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but yeah, this thing's a beast. It really is. Just to clear this up, Not people nice. people think I'm fucking gay for vaping. This has got THC in it. So. Shout out THC. <laughs> Shout out gay people. I mean, where so you, you're running a Mac at the moment? Yeah, so I've got a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <I> <laughs> we're on um, we're on Ableton. Yeah, I use Ableton. Um, I make, shout out Ableton. I bro. make shut the fuck up. <laughs> we, got, we got one more shout out. Um, um, we'll, we'll save so I make the, I make all the I make all the music in Logic. And oh, no, sorry, Ableton. And then I mix in Logic. Shout out Logic. <laughs> Did I knew you guys were gonna shout out? Oh, by the way, I'm just realizing your fucking screensaver is trippy, bro. I didn't even know you could put that trippy shit on there. Yeah, I remember sorry, um, I didn't know oh, I could oh, put so that. You on. Have. <laughs> oh shit, I'm seeing things. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Um got a, got a story about that laptop, but it's not quite PG to do with trippiness, but don't really know if I can tell it on here. You can. It's up to you. 
depends who's gonna watch it you know your mother is gonna yeah. be watching i mean was she yeah i don't know i'll see um yeah i did kind of did it uh, one time and just stayed at, stayed at that for like many 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 hours Show up. Uh, so i got mac he's able to um and then i use the new focus right interface but like the fucking chunky one is Not, it like how many inputs is that like 12 yeah i think it's 18. 18 old fuck yeah that's lit, <laughs> uh, not 18 mic i think it's got eight mic inputs eight mic and then 11 uh, maybe um, like a 16 i think and then eight jack inputs okay but can you also do jack in the mic ones like you can on the oh. focus right yeah whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah okay cool so it's got a lot of possibilities and then i've got that on a rack so i'm gonna slowly build that up turn it into a proper studio rack get some like nice like and vintage we'll, do a, we'll do a tour of his studio at some point for the um once it's proper beefed channel, up maybe yeah that'd be cool yeah once it's beefed up we'll do like a five minute tour and you can give us like a more in-depth go look at that so I, am i going to be a regular visitor on your channel yeah i think so i like you you're all right but yeah no we'll um we'll have to do some featured stuff with you on the podcast and if we come back and just do some like uh, goofs and booths we'll um get you on or something yeah i just like to go where we get really drunk yeah i mean it's an excuse on a this is more like Wednesday, a Thursday night yeah it's more of an inter interview Monday. kind of thing you know yeah yeah this is yeah yeah of course but we'll have fun podcasts we don't have to just do it we'll have one but when we get good old sam fucking shout out sam shout out <laughs> sam bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah we get sam on yeah. um definitely so what guitars have you got or oh, i've got an epiphone let's pull um oh, you got quite a few then I thought maybe you sold a few of them. No, so I've got the Epiphone this before. I haven't used that fucking... I haven't played guitar in a while, to be fair. Same, man. I'm um, every now and then sure. I whip out the old good guitar. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got an Epiphone this pool. I've got a Yamaha Pacifica, which is actually my dad's. Um, it's kind of like a Strat copy. It's quite nice. And then I've also got a, another Yamaha acoustic, which is also my dad's. Shout out my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out your dad. Really hope he's not watching this. <laughs> He sounds like a lad, though. Yeah, he's he's quite he's quite a lot of fun actually. Bit of savage, yeah. He can be. Yeah. Uh, he's, he got, yeah, there's there's been a few good drunk walk walk homes with oh, um, nice. That's him. Nice, him it? and my mates who seem to think my dad's more of a mate to them than he is my dad's, and they've told him some stories. Both me and him <sighs> wish they did not tell. Yeah, oh, tell the stories. I wish I knew my dad. Oh. <laughs> shout out Dylan's oh, no, dad. No, no, I was gonna say can't shout out Dylan's dad. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe if we shout loud enough, he might come back. <laughs> Probably not, bro. He was in what? Liverpool last last scene. MIA, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, although they, if they, if they run out of uh, run out of stock of milk in um, supermarkets, then he might come back. That's true. Yeah. So went out to get some milk and just never came back, bro. Yeah, but now they're they're, they're yeah. now eventually going to be out of stock because of maybe it's time to come so home. It's time yeah. to come home. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is Sapporo. Oh, I love it. it is the fucking most. It's the most refreshing beer in all of the world, I think. And I like. Do you mind if I pour some? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Have half a glass. You're a guest, but you can only get so the I shit. Pour glass, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not how you pour a beer, but mm. fucking hell. I forgot it was a beer for a second. <laughs> for fuck's sake. It's all right. It'll, it'll calm down. We'll yeah, get it real. Um, yeah, it's the most like, it's considered the most premium beer in Japan and it's fucking beautiful, bro. That's really good, actually. It's, it's quite so witty. refreshing, but it's, it's quite expensive. I had though. some great beer out in Canada, actually, yeah. when I was there in the summer. I had some great beer out in Canada. Oh, yeah. Tell me about that. I'm all about beer and alcohol. Yeah, the we have um, we have a huge supply down here. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. No, the beer was great in Canada. What, um, what do they have? Like, so when you go to a bar mm. in um, Canada, what are we looking at? We've got like so we haven't got ale pumps, have we? Yeah, they we have. do. Um, so they've got more. I mean, where, we did colonize. Yeah, so where I was, see and conquer. Where I was, obviously, Canada's <laughs> a bit more English and America. Is, yeah, you know? right. That's it's like the best of both, right? Yeah, is that what? That's why everyone sees it as I think. Like everyone's like, oh, Canada's lit, but it is. It's, it's like, a great place. Yeah, I'll probably move out there one day. Oh, mate, oh, if I, you I've do, got family I'll, that be an excuse to visit. So. Probably sponsor me as well. So, all right, yeah. You know, sponsor me to yeah, yeah, live out course, there. Yeah. Um, yeah, they they got like so we when me and Charlotte were there, my girlfriends, shout out Charlotte, shout out Charlotte, definitely couldn't do all those shout outs shout out Charlotte. without <laughs> shout out my own girlfriend. Um, yeah, when me and Charlotte were there in the summer, um, 
Did Shout so. out to the summer. We're not, <laughs> they're not going to see much of you. This year, so we might Probably, well yeah, out might as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, so, we were. We so where we lived with my family, where they live. We went to a pub a few times. We went to quite a lot of pubs. Like my uncle is because my family from England, and my dad's sister is my auntie. Yeah. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Oh, I never. Mean, uh, <laughs> so yeah, my dad's sister, who is my auntie, lives in Canada. She lived in England. Um, and so so she met her husband, who's now my uncle, Chris. In like, Canada? Yeah. So no, in like, England, in oh, England. Okay, so he's proper, he loves his England, English beers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's quite an Aylesy boy. I don't know. I can. I don't want to. Don't want to disrespect him by getting it wrong. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But um, never mind. I just know he loves his English pubs. Right. Yeah. So he took us to one called the Duchess, which was sick. Um, he took us there on Wings Night. They have like Wings Night, nice. which like all wings are bro, half, half this, price. What is wrong with England, mate? The wings work. What is wrong with England, bro? Say it louder. Say it can we? For the can we just quickly? What? Why don't we have Wings Nights, bro? Why don't we have any nights? All we got is like go out to moves and get trash night. Their wings were fucking amazing. I love wings, bro. I love hot sauce and wings. Oh uh, yeah, I always went for the hot wings. Charlotte go for barbecue wings, but uh, shout out barbecue. Bar- wings. Yeah, bar- mm, they're, they're not good. anything, mate. They, I'm so those wings guy, mate. after that, after you took us there that night, I kind of after a few drinks as well, I kind of got on a wing height, like wing kind of. I wanted to try all the wings in Canada. Yeah. Um. So I went, I actually went to the Duchess a few more times after that and got the same wings, but. Is the Duchess ooh, this pub, sorry? Yeah, it's fucking sick. I don't, sorry, I, on the inside, it just looks like an English pub, but outside they've got this like beautiful decking all the all around the fence. So it's quite compact, but all around the fence, they've got all these like beautiful kind of pictures of like the wild, like Canada wildlife, which mm. is obviously like stunning. And it just feels really Canadian being there. Yeah. It's really fucking cool. Um, so yeah, we we I tried out a lot of wings there. Canada wings you, are good. You're like a wings guy. Yeah. yeah. When I mean, I think almost every time we ate out, it kind of became a running joke with my family that I'll oh, go for the wings because I just couldn't could not try them. So why didn't you and call yourself like, like wings instead of it, face, mate? Because they're it's too all. Because they're already. They're already. <laughs> sorry, is. No, no, you're not. You're not letting him explain that he then went on to try on chicken faces. Oh, yeah. Hot sauce, hot there's sauce, also there's also face. the point that there's a hugely chicken successful band well. called Wings. Is that right? Paul McCartney, mate. He just called his band Wings. Do you know who Paul McCartney is? Yeah. Yes. From, from the Beatles. Yes. I was just trying. Um, yeah, he was in a band called The Wings. What, do you think I don't fuck with The Beatles, mate? Well, clearly not, because you don't know who Wings are. Abbey Road, The Crossing, all of it. <laughs> That's still Abbey no, Road, bro. Yeah. Oh, I've got a Snapchat from Charlotte. Shout out to Charlotte. Charlotte, you're live on the podcast right now. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that, Charlotte, I'm sorry. Have you been to America? No. Asia? No. Europe? Yeah, I've been to Spain. Okay, so you go to Europe. I uh, like Grand. I've been to Grand Canaria, Mallorca, um, Cavos. Fucking crazy holiday. Shout out Cavos. <laughs> that was that was mental. Um, yeah. That was a lads holiday. So. Oh, mate. Yeah. I was denied the lads holiday. By who? Your friends? My friends. <laughs> Did you actually? I, well, I met Jack too late in life. Yeah, and and I really, I don't know, I'm still going to go no, on it's one. Not, it's not too late. Like an actual dirty Cavos holiday. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm They're fucking. So much I'm fun. doing it, by the way, and I'm making you come. Obviously, I'll, Jack's coming. I'll be down. And I'll the little rip shit. Sorry, but we'll just, we'll just play pubs and shit. We'll take over. We'll bring our music shit. We don't we don't need much. We need laptops and mics. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then we'll we'll just be like, it okay, might, it, we'll might play. Be kinda, it might be kind of hard getting. I don't want to be pessimistic here. It might be kind of hard getting gigs um, yeah. in fucking cavos because all they want is the watered down pop music. Oh, no, we don't have to ask. This, 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 <laughs> no, but we can just go. We can just go beefer, mate. I thought about okay. DJing there though. Yeah, well, money. Yeah, and it's, all I've got to play yeah. is literally the chart songs. But you'll be playing while everyone's having fun, and then you can drink in the day. Yeah, I mean, I'm get, I mean, you can getting. You can drink on stage. I'll be getting paid a lot to just live out in Cavos for like a term, you know. What do they speak in Cavos? Uh, Greek, Greek island. So yeah, I've been there. I've been to Tobago. I have to learn the words for pussy and tits. Oh, well, that, well look, give me the, the whole, pussy. The whole bolts. point about Cavos is that it's all English. Uh, uh, all fucking foreign holiday. Like, yeah, and shit, yeah. Yeah, it's just a dirty holiday place, yeah. you know. So you don't. <laughs> they're all English. Beautiful. 
Yeah, and they're all 17 years old. I wonder so. if people are like trapped out there. Like Corona and shit. Like they can't even fly home. Probably. Like, so it's like, what do we do? Well, mum, send me another 500 quid. Another week on the well, set. Well, Not in this season, because it's like, it's just come out of winter. Is it a complete down it, it will shut down. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. The locals will... I don't really think about that, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was about to say, because Greece is next to Cyprus, and that's where my parents... Ah, uh, yeah. Where my parents were going to go. Yeah. Oh, well. We still see yeah. events. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so I've got a super fucking serious question for you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, insanely, like... <laughs> This act, is. Act serious, act serious, right? like, this. I might fucking murder you if you don't fucking fuck with whatever I my opinion on this is. Pineapple pizza. Pineapple and pizza. Hell yeah, I love it. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh, I love it. Are you actually serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I had it once as a kid. I think I, think I, think, I had it once as a kid. I didn't really feel anything from it. I don't know. I I think it's pretty good. What the fuck is wrong I'm, with you, bro? I just enjoy the taste. I think. It's, I had it as a kid. I always had it as a kid. Just liked it, and so now I like it. Now it and works. When you're a kid, you, it works. You can learn to love anything. Yeah, but it works. It does not. It's so sweet, and there's cheese. Oh, it just works. What I don't know. Fuck, I bro. fucking thing is, you have pineapple with gammon, don't you? No, you don't. You, I, you can. I but don't. You don't. I know you can, but I don't. But ham and pineapple. Pretty so much. Sure. What about you, man? No fucking. I'm not having any of that. No. I don't. I, I don't have it personally, but I. I don't. You know, I, I I respect people that do. I, I'm not going to kill them over whether. I mean, it's it's not an opinion I I hold strongly enough to be like, oh my god, that is so wrong that you're doing that. I can kind of understand it. So you have like, you I know, would fight someone over it. Sparky, go then, cud. Kind of relating to that, what is your go-to order at Domino's, bruh? Oh, this will, oh, by the way, will, this will make us. I changed for American listeners. Domino's is good here. I know it's shit in America. Is it good here though? I mean, I always buy it and I always enjoy it, but it is shit. You just said it. Well, then why not go to one of the fucking? Because no one's better than Domino's. <laughs> a. Well, if 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 it's shit in England, we are suffering. You need to send pizzas over, bro. Because this shit is fucking yeah. It's I good just though. yeah. I just felt like suggesting this because this is more of an opinion that I hold stronger. Okay, no, no. If, I if also feel so way more I'm, strongly about. Now I'm your... interested. Um, if, you, if, you say, if you say pineapple, then I would never get, get pineapple straight. on a Domino's pizza. Yeah, is, Just want to make that clear. What is your go-to order? Um, I change it up. I mean, sometimes Ooh. it'd be Texas barbecue. Like uh, well, lately, I've been lately I've been like, liking yeah. the uh, is it the Mighty Meaty or something like that? Meat feast. Meat no, feast. Meat oh, yeah, is that the one? The one with barbecue? Yeah. That's meat. Uh, that's the meat feast one. Right? Yeah, I'm liking that one. I like to make my own. I also love the hot wings there. Actually, okay. go half and half. Half an hour, I go half an hour. I'll so I can that. get half tomato, half barbecue. Woo! Mm. That is yeah. spicy. Okay. Um, large, obviously. Woo! Um, so on my tomato side, I'd have cheese. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, a tomato cheese. Um, Where's cheese? Oh, mozzarella, obviously. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Um, I'll get tandoori chicken. Oh, yeah, nice. I like a bit. Of um, and a few jalapenos and mm. probably some onion as well. Exotic. On the, um, on the other side... I'd probably just do like a Texas barbecue would be perfect. Or just actually I'll do a uh, dough, cheese, barbecue sauce, and then just like meat, like chicken, sausage, pepperoni, yeah. that kind of stuff. Fair and then the garlic dip. All right, Jack, Domino's order right now. Um, you got, I mean, I mean, I was, I was going to say my go-to order is meat feast. Fucking and, wax. Yeah. Shit in. Lock it in. Large meat feast. Um, uh, pepperoni dobles. And oh yeah, they're fucking dang. They were right. Pepperoni dobles and and the cheese dobles because sometimes you get you get a oh, yeah. which gets both of them. So you go for one of each. You've got to uh, balance it out. Um, and then the cookies. Don't know those cookies. I see. I've had a couple of bad experiences with the fucking cookies, bro. Really? I mean, I've had them three times. Like only like sharing, like we had one each, or whatever. Or, or you know, you get like three or four yeah. in one. Have, have you ever ordered the um, uh, the chocolate pizza? Fuck that, never will. It, it looks like uh, one call me. two weeks. Oh. <laughs> Quickly, we'll just ask you, Mackie's order. 
Because mm-hmm. uh, I've ha- I've had some fucked up friends, and their Mackey's order just fucking blows my mind. Quarter pounder. I'm a simple man. Large quarter pounder meal. Um, probably maybe get some mozzarella bites and that. Well, they're yeah. recent as well. Get they're racist. good. There we go. Yeah, Mackey's I was gonna say like simple. it's nice and simple, isn't it? Yeah. But I've had some fucking cretins as my friends. Fuck you, JD. Fuck you. I'm gonna send you this shit and timestamp it. Fuck you, JD. Not showing out. Too. No, we are shouting him out, but fuck oh, you, bro. Okay, right. Is this pubes? No, no. Uh, he's called. Uh, he's my American friend. JD, I just called. Oh J- no, no. He's called John Don. Wait, is that pubes? Is... He doesn't. He's What's his initials? J D. As opposed to condom. Jake. His pubes. Uh, What's your second name? Um, Jake Davis. Yeah, so it would have been J D. No, it's John Don King Cannon. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking Mario. Kart. He does, and he, he is a bit of a Mario character, bro. Yeah. I need to get him on the podcast, bro. Come to England again with your girlfriend. Fuck you. I mean, the best job is obviously working with me at Morrison's. Isn't probably it? is. It's the easiest job. Same. Actually. Worst job's probably the factory shop. I got fired Ooh. from there. Whoa, fired? Yeah. What the fuck? Did you bit of cock in someone's yeah. fucking. I no, I got like scams by, oh. by some guy. It was kind of my fault because I was just an idiot. I wasn't really thinking. A kid. I was I was like 17. I was hungover. Yeah. Um, he was right. just doing this thing with like strangers' money really quick though. Got fired for that because it lost like eighty quid. But the job with the whole was shit. Eighty quid. Yeah. Jeez. It's not much to a, you Jeez. know. Uh, Jeez, like 80 quid. It's not much to a national yeah. company though, you know. We'll yeah. make it back for you one day. But I got fired. Um, it was just a shit job. Like putting out clothes was fucking horrible. Minimum wage as well. It was like four pounds an hour. Oh, yeah. Oof. Bruh. Do you have a party trick? No. no, I've got this. I can like bend, I can bend my. That's, no, that's like just that. disgusting. Get that shit away from the cameras. I'm I'm censoring that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't really have a party trick. I can play. I can play some mean piano. You can play Wonderwall. Yeah, mate. <laughs> oh, okay. I Not actually, many people can. Oh, I actually did that at a party. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Year it goes 11. against the code. Mate, I didn't you know about the code. To to I was I was 16 years old. Okay. We were all really drunk. It was at Ox's, okay. right? Sh- fucking shout out Ox. Yeah, um, we uh, yeah, we're out Ox's. We gotta like, get you on the podcast, bro. <laughs> definitely. Um he had some crazy um parties back in the day. Um he had this <laughs> <laughs> He had this acoustic guitar upstairs. Yeah. And when we were really drunk, this is like I think Harry Welfare, shout out Harry Welfare. Had already, <laughs> he'd already got naked at this point, which he always does Fully. now. Um yeah, pretty much. It was just all kind of mayhem, you know. We we're probably like a good three, four beers down. No, I'm joking. We like you know, yeah. we we were trash sixteen year olds and I brought the guitar down and I fucking like held it up like this, sat yeah. down, fucking played Who Wonderwall, knows? everyone was singing. If nice. I can find videos and then I played Black Rain, which is a presence, because Barney was there in the room. I think that was more the reason why we did it, because oh, me and Barney were in the same room. Yeah, yeah. So we we're like, let's just fucking go. Yeah. And um yeah, and that happens. I bled all over the guitar. Why? Because I wasn't what using a pick and I was just like, <laughs> I was really drunk, so I just didn't care. And then because I was a annoying 16 year old kid, I went around to everyone like, look at my blood. Like, I think I wiped over my face or something. Yeah, yeah. I have a tendency of doing that when I'm drunk. Man. Hardest man in the room. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Hard boy. So, yeah, that's, I did play Wonderwall at, at 2016. Yeah, it's Wonderwall. Fuck Wonderwall. Fuck you. Stop playing it. You got any more Desperados? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Look, I'm such a fucking... We're so gracious here at Winter Chills. Shout out Winter Chills. That we buy our guests alcohol. Shout out alcohol. Shout out alcohol, bro. Uh, we, should, we should definitely have a target to have... After 20 episodes, we should have a sponsor of some sort. We will have a fucking sponsor, bro. If, if you don't it, sponsor I me, I'll come to your house. I give it 20 episodes. Yeah, well, we just want to be vigilant and keep going, man. Yeah. But this is this can be sick. I just realised how far off the topic we got. I was meant to be talking about um, the factory shop job, right? Didn't even finish that fucking story. Oh yeah, Wait, shit. So I don't care now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I shit. think I, I was just once. To be honest with me, once you get me on to talking about the golden days, I could talk about them for years. Such a little bitch. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Cheers to being back. It's good stuff, Ooh. Desperados. It is. It smells like weed. It's also got a weed leaf on it. Mm. Shout out weed. How have we not shouted that out yet? 
Um, Bruh. Because it is an illegal substance nah. that is not allowed to be We don't fuck with that. Nah. Winter chills. Do not nah. intake any of it. I was going to say, while you're here, you, we've shouted out like 20 people, but you haven't actually shouted out yourself at the moment. Shout out like, myself. You didn't even say your socials. I yeah, like social, bro. Oh, of course. Um, I'm just going to insert it in the beginning, but also, you know. We'll have it in the description, obviously. Right. But for yeah, but also, yeah, yeah. So, so I can't see that. Only Instagram for professional music. It was just Louis Pittman music. Which is obviously my real name. Mm. <laughs> Didn't know if we should say that. Um, yeah, I'll probably change it to face eventually, but for now, while well, I'm still getting people that know me to it's follow like, my page, you know, eventually yeah. once yeah. I've done all that, I can change it to face. And so face on Spotify? Yeah. So uh, um, anything else? Are you on I think it's on, it's on, uh, I, I'm not sure. Sh- I'm yeah. I'm on SoundCloud actually. Uh, SoundCloud uh, I post bass. like drum and bass mixes on there. Uh, okay, DJ yeah, mixes. So if you want some like insight on what he's doing, like just the way he's like trying. You to can send song. link. You can put links all down. Oh yeah, here. all the links will be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you on YouTube and shit? Um, I don't know. Not yet. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I don't, this I podcast don't know. is on YouTube. Everyone needs to use YouTube as a yeah, media. Gonna yeah, but so I'm going to have like, what, 10 platform. fans? I don't like making videos of myself. You don't have to make videos. Just put that image and do the track. I beg of you, please. Yeah. No one uses uh, YouTube bro, well, for music. Well, these people are watching it on YouTube. Yeah, but no one uses on YouTube. Already. So we'll just do a fucking classic, would you rather, mate? We're fucking British. It's the first episode. We're going to get... All right, find out all right guys. I promise by episode 10, there'll be a fucking wheel of fortune, bro. Like a fatty Check wheel. Out. I'm buying it. It's 80 quid. Just give me some money and I'll fucking buy it. But I'm buying it soon. Only fans in the description. Yeah, bro. And um, Louis starting up. Um, yeah. It's not going to my only fans. It's going to fund. Yeah. It's I mean, not. You've got to make one. It's not so. sexual at all. No, it, it is. Doesn't, doesn't, well, <laughs> nothing actual sexual and, you know, in terms of laws. A lot of ant- <laughs> I'm not like, taking you like seriously right DJs now. Sets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a lot, no, no, no. Of, lot of animal shit in there. Yeah, but so you got to yeah, you got to do more content so we can get some dosh for this. Well, on the only the, imagine the fucking wheel of fortune, mate. Every it's like um, the one I found. I'll just quickly show on Amazon. Is like Are you gonna pop it up here. Yeah, yeah, I'll pop the and someone can buy it for me. I'll put it on my um, OnlyFans. Wish I mean I don't have an OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at my. What's wrong with me, bro? Um, yeah, wait. I'll quickly show you this, mate. Because <laughs> I was like, "What's it called?" And I think Wheel of Fortune. It's like, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we just label it. We come up with shit. Uh, <laughs> Eighty quid, 12, bro. Why is it so expensive? 12, I know that's what I was thinking. Is and this room but always, imagine you just be able to go. Is this room always going to be the podcast room? No, no, no. We're a moving podcast. We consider every type of home. We're not yeah. homeless. We need kind of like a banner behind, you know? I mean, we got free Frank. That's enough. That is enough. That's all I care about, honestly. Free so. Frank. When's the next? I mean, I'm watching a fucking guy, right? Shout Ooh. out to anyone that's this far in the video. Yo, shout out iDubs. He did. He's the only one that made it. Yeah. His girlfriend's on fucking thingamajiggy. Only fans now. She actually. Yeah. But he's not uploading a new video, so no one can spam him with it yet. Who's his girlfriend? I don't know. I'm not. I, I... <laughs> I, mean, I follow him. I'm on just Instagram. curious. I didn't even know he had a girlfriend. Oh, he's had one for ages, mate. But yeah, iDubbbz has got a OnlyFans girl. There's a yeah, girlfriend. Well, no, no. So she started up now, but they've been together for years, I think. And like, you can see it in hot, cold ones. Um, what's it called? Video comments. They're like, um, talk about iDubbbz having a girlfriend on OnlyFans. Blah, blah, blah. Shit. Maybe they. Could but be maybe joking. he just doesn't care. He might be an exhibitionist. Which is what? Which, what do you feel about that? What's an exhibitionist? Well, well, a nudist, basically. Oh, what did you? What so say? You, What's my thoughts on that? Yeah, like your if girlfriend. They want to walk around naked. They want to. No, I mean, all, like, so he has a girl. We're so we're talking about iDubs. We're talking about iDubs. You know, we're talking about iDubs. So, say Charlotte got OnlyFans and told you, "I've got this," and she's already uploaded. Oh, uh, yeah. I probably wouldn't. That's, that's you good wouldn't topic. care. Um, I don't know because I I'd be fucked. I'd be like, no. But I don't think I would care. Really? I don't think so. You know, um, there's, uh, I mean, because I a, respect the people there'd be a lot of show guys, their bodies and stuff. There'd, there'd be a lot of guys, you know, jacking off to her. Yeah. But so it makes you feel like more powerful. Like, yeah, that's, mate. Not, that's a really bad way to put it. Yeah, but it when does, you say it like that. What it is. Um, I Human just wouldn't instinct. be bothered if she's making money. I mean, yeah, she never would. Okay, so she let's say, okay, would, okay, but, okay, new, 
Well, so you're both okay with it, and I just yeah. I can't imagine it. But so let's say so, so your like girlfriend it. is earning five hundred quid a month, and she does OnlyFans, and there are like two thousand guys following her, messaging her on OnlyFans, blah blah. blah. Girls earn way more than five hundred. Maybe I'm just okay. saying. I'm just saying. I don't know. It'd be a situation that I. I'd, so you're with this girl, and she's. I like, wouldn't know how I'd feel about it until it happened. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of hard. But you to think really? like you'd be all right with it? Well, it I wouldn't. Depends how much she earned from that. I mean, so say she's making loads of money. If she, if yeah. she, if she had an OnlyFans and she was making two hundred quid a month, would you still be okay with it? I think it's not about the money. If, as long as she was happy, I guess. No, so she wants to do it. As like, long as she was happy. Well, she probably isn't happy because she's only earning 200 quid <laughs> on OnlyFans. <laughs> but. <laughs> but no, it's I can't say, say it's a hobby. Like, So she d she makes enough money to pay the bills. You guys are quite happy, but she just does this as a hobby, like music or something, and starts making 200 quid a month. Let her do her, I guess. But you say you don't care? You don't I, care? I don't know. I'd Probably not. I'm pretty laid back. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just, yeah, I can't imagine that. It's weird for me. Yeah. We can play this game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> she got real. Speaking of women, let's play <laughs> oh. Would You Rather. Highly <laughs> sexist um, game. Dance for a yeah, yeah, no, you, you're going to have to edit in, the, you're gonna have to edit yeah, in the, um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah, yeah, okay. Who Wants to Be? This uh, is very, very Who intense. Who Wants to Be Gay? All right, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Louis Face Pit. <laughs> My middle name's actually France, so that kind of lines face, up. Face scored to the CE, whoever it was. So square oh, yeah. square root of. Power not face to the power. Square root to the power of. F to the power of CE. Square root to the power of CE. <laughs> Almost. Next time. Chicken face. Um, would you rather have sex with a corpse or never have sex again? I think whenever he says it's going to be a fucking lie. <laughs> Like, how dead does she have to be? <laughs> dead. 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 I mean, I don't Like, rotting. A... I mean, it has That's to be. Oh, okay, so, so, no, like, but. So you're, so, you're saying that if she had died five minutes, she'd absolutely blow the fuck out of her. <laughs> no, I'd probably just never <laughs> have sex question. again. I'd never have sex again. Yeah. I don't know why I was considering that, but. <laughs> Would you rather have kinky sex or romantic sex? <laughs> and, like, is this aimed at women or something, bro? <laughs> I think you're on the wrong website. It seems to be like no, no, um, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, uh, there's some shit ones. Yeah. Uh, would, you, would you rather date a porn star? Or a porn star? Um, I don't know. Okay, sure. Oh, all right. We're getting to the thick of it now, boys. Well, would you rather drink? Drink a cup of your mum's period blood, yeah, or your dad's semen, <laughs> bro. Jeez. Who wrote this shit? The colleague. Give me a cocktail yo, the yo, period. shout out. Period Whoa. blood. No, I've already thought about it. Right, all blood. Oh, yeah, no, you know, all right, hear you're me out. Period. All blood tastes the same, right? Yeah, we've all tasted our own. Well, we've all tasted our own <laughs> blood before, accidentally. Yeah, well, no, no, I tried it. Yeah. So I know the taste. I'm not gonna. It's about a whole cup, bro. Oh, you got a neck it. You can't just. You want to sit. You can't I know sip it's it, not like, easy. You can't sip it for ten years. It's gotta be. Well, I yeah. think you just have Why to get it down. Yeah. That's what yeah. So no, right. The, the argument is you're either gay or you're not. Oh, you put. It pretty so if you if you drink your dad's sperm, you're. No, that being gay is rotten. No. 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 Yeah. yeah. But Shout just for the for the for the context of this question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think. Period blood on stage is a go to. Yeah, yeah. Probably. I mean, yeah, because I, I don't. Yeah. Would you rather pee every time you stand up or poop every time you sit down? <laughs> <laughs> like, so who wrote this answer. shit? I'm not even answering that. That's, that's just so complete worried. polar opposites, isn't it? That's... It's just like I don't know. I'm no. not. I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna give time to sit there and think about that crap. Why not? It's just like, uh, no, no that's shit. Yeah, like some of them are interesting. It's that one's question. shit. It it's really not, is bad. It's not because I think you would always stand uh, pee, pee when you stand. Yeah, and then shit when you sit. <laughs> yeah, so I mean you can. I just love these. You can. Why are we going can, into you this? Can survive just that. <laughs> yeah, so, I do shit every day. Of the week. Wait, so so if you if you stand up once, yeah. yeah yeah. But then you don't pee again. It's you sit down. down, yeah. So it's obviously. I would, down. I would stand up. And then you. <laughs> but then you don't like, pee. Everywhere. Your home would look like shit, literally. No, it would look like pee. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Like I said, I'm not, I can't be bothered to go into that. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right. Would you have rather have a micro penis or like boobs, at least size D? <laughs> boobs. <laughs> Shut up, micro penis. <laughs> micro penis. Well, this one says, would you rather Any have a two inch penis or man boobs? Like, bro. You know what? Make it, it more savage. Yeah, that's easy. It would be micro penis. Do you know why? Like, not even no. just having boobs, mate. No, pet. Because, you can fondle okay. them for no. free. Okay, yeah, you can. I know you're only having a micro penis, right? In all day to day life <laughs> that doesn't involve <laughs> sex, no one would know you have a disability. Yeah, true. I'm not saying it's disability, you know. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, you know, but having boobs, everyone would know all the yeah, time that you're a man say, I think, with tits. I think there's more girls out there that say that size doesn't matter rather than the size of your tits matters. True. No one really, you know. Yeah. It's no one. Sun, no one. No. I've, I've never heard a girl say, "Oh, do you know what? I really like a man with boobs." I've true. Never heard that. Yeah. So true. yeah, I'll, I'll go for the two-inch penis. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not two inch. I'm saying I've changed it. Micro. My, well, what's micro? Micro is an actual thing. Like, like, it's it's like, tiny. Sorry. It is literally not human. It's like nothing. It works though. I've heard. Is it actually. I've heard. From who? Yourself. Oh, I'm asking bro. for a friend. No, I saw it on um <laughs> this morning once. They did a segment. They literally brought in like three men who had micro penises. Really? Why? Why? Just to embarrass them. No, like, like just they all they come they, in. No, they and were like, they, being, like they fucking jimmy them and then No, they were being like brave or whatever doing that. What the fuck? <laughs> so I mean, fair play to them. They're probably the most ballsy men in the world. Yeah, Quite of course. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather speak to animals or speak every language in the world? Speak every. Oh fuck, that'd be pretty lit. That's actually. I don't know. I don't I glance I over that. Oh I fuck, I don't know actually. Um, speak to animals would be fucking cool. Yeah, it'd because be crazy. You, oh, speak to animals. Come on, speak to animals. I get. I get by with my day to day. To my day to day life nah. now without needing. I just don't give a fuck about animals, bro. I'm I don't go to enough countries to need to know. Imagine speaking. Just, yeah. Animals would be booted out because they've never experienced it yeah. before. You could control them because they would listen to you. You could speak to a tiger and be like, don't eat me. I have feelings. And they so just wouldn't. Option, they just yeah. wouldn't eat you. All they do is see us as meat. They don't see us as people, like sentient beings. Yeah, they just yeah. see us as meat. If you could talk to them, you could probably like ride on the back of a tiger. Yeah, fucking true. So, you know, there you go. It'd be a superpower. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was. I was going to say. I, I guess it. It would depend. Like, say, say you was in a position where you became like a worldwide known DJ. What would then be more beneficial? Oh yeah, that's a good. That's a good change to it. Like, Still animals. Because yeah. I could fucking ride on stage on a fucking yeah. bear. You know. Bring but they might not necessarily obey you, bro. Have the horse. They will because I'll be talking to. Back. Back. You're so charismatic. Of course they would. Oh you. <laughs> Yeah, no, fair enough. Like, I, I kind of get what you mean. I, I do language so easy. Mm. I just, I just like the idea of being able to speak like Chinese. That'd be fucking. Yeah. Like someone starts. Imagine someone's like fucking pissing you off and you don't want to like start shit. You just start like screaming at them in Spanish. It's like. Yeah. I guess so. Like God. But you. Oh, jeez. We're gonna have to wrap it up. Um, speaking of raps, I had one more question. I had one more. Would you rather? Um, would you rather? Would you rather snort a line of beer mm-hmm. or eat a cocaine filled wrap? Eat a cocaine. Whoa. Oh, a co- eat a cocaine filled wrap. Very. Really? I bet you get crazy. Very buzz good question. It. But I feel like you just kill yourself. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot and, about that part. And if you chose snort the, a line of beer, you, that'd be if you easy. Chose the wrap. What would you have in it with the cocaine? Oh. Yeah. oh. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. And sauce. A lot of this shit right here. You yeah. know what? Should I try a bit of this on camera? Yeah. yeah. Snort it. Open it. Off it's the not key. Opened yet. I don't no, know. no. This is the one that Charlotte and you got me. But um, shout out, Charlotte. Wait, did she send you a. Yeah. She did send me a video. She sent us a. She messaged Louis and Let's she said, I'll she be said. on the podcast if you just present it. Yeah, Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. That was well, very British. Shout out, Charlotte. Shout out, Charlotte. And Chloe. That was her mate, Chloe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where are they tonight? Are they having good times? Not as good as us, obviously. But... Mm. Yeah. Um, what are they up to? Yeah. I don't fucking nothing, know. Nothing, Girl nothing, stuff. Nothing, drinking the finest. Drinking the finest on a Thursday night with the boys.
So tell me, who who else have you got coming on this podcast? And how many can I join? Secret. Because um, you're going to always need my mic, bro. <laughs> shit. Like, why did... Come on, man. Look, check out um, Jack's OnlyFans. We need money for mics. Nah, you can just have me on more. Well, yeah, I was going to say, like... You're yeah, but we need more. Yeah, you're yeah, I guess you need more money. Your wealth would be like co and stuff. But I think, like, yeah. No, I think so. I think, like, we don't really have much set plans for this podcast it's just like you know if they want fun. to be on it yeah and then see where it takes off so like it's like just give it it's back. just an excuse to drink it's just an excuse to have a chat it's just an excuse to oh mate so much protection have some fun really um it's an excuse to have some hot sauce yeah oh uh, by the way we're gonna do hot I wish ones we'd like a wing, or hot boys a wing to dab this in. we'll do hip, we'll do hot boys do you reckon that's enough dab yeah that's fine that's a that's quite a decent dab awesome. I mean, it's not that hot, by the way. I finished this morning these already. It's like a, an instant kick and then it goes away. So That's actually, what they're normally the shit ones. It's not like, something yeah. I could sit there and eat like a whole meal of. Oh, okay. Yeah. But like to put on my chicken. That's actually, it tastes good as well. Yeah, no, I actually rate it. It's, it's, it's fucking Morrison's one, bro. Like, what the fuck? It's actually pretty good. But yeah. So you've got a lot of hot hot sauce collections yeah so i am the bit of a hot sauce addict so um we'll be doing a hot boys podcast copying hot ones basically so mm. that'd be fun yeah so yeah we'll, I'll definitely, do. we'll definitely do like a cold ones one as well yeah, yeah this, well, was this, bit, this was a bit more improvised but like shower yeah. chad shower max maybe we should do that for my one actually. yeah i mean yeah. i'll well, come on i'll come ones. to that yeah. uh cold no. ones no. <laughs> i can bring my interface as well so you can get more mic inputs. I'll do bets and stuff. Um, I reckon, I don't know, maybe we should, maybe we should shout out one person to take on the hot ones for us. Sam. Yo, Sam. Sam. It's definitely Sam. What's up, boy? <laughs> it's me, boy. I know you're watching. I know you watched an hour and whatever. He probably has. He's watched all of it by now. Oh, he's, he's the only one. The only one you're you're on the there. second channel watching the Uncut podcast. Fuck you, and you're coming on doing fucking hot ones, and if I'll I'll be Sean Evans. I'll I'll eat that shit with you, bro, boy. If, he, but. if he's not here at this stage, then he's just not coming on at all. Because I thought I trusted. Yeah, him. if you, if you like this podcast, bro, you've yeah, you're you're on it, bro. Unfortunately, fuck you. Yeah. So I'm very no, angry. Today. Not even music related, but you're just here for the culture, and so yeah, of course. Just, I mean, we had was, we must have had like about a third of this actually be music related. Of course. Yeah. Which is definitely fun. We to do talk what we about. can. We have fun. We have we, fun. I mean, but no one's had like a huge music music career, like or a movie career or whatever. Nor that we know of. Well, no, yeah. not yet. But it's the whole the whole winter chills kind of thing going on it's social. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got a yeah shout out winter chills, bro. Yeah, give, All yeah. fucking social yeah. media. We we are accepting new artists. We can do shit like this, or we can make you a track. Um, you know, down below we've got a list of all the artists that we work with, and it's just like a music and podcast station, really, yeah. just to like help promote other people. Yeah, uh, exactly. A bit of fun ourselves as well. Cross, cross, cross it's promotion, entertainment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, entertainment and like, yeah, bro. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, we'll we'll do shit for you, but we can't pay you, and you'd have to pay us. But we can make you a beat. Like, if you like the beats you hear up on this, um. Like we've got a um, summer album coming out in July. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, I mean, it's all made in house with we're all the boys. Outside, yeah, unless we all die, it's going to continue. Yeah, so and um, yeah, bro, like yeah. <laughs> if you like anything we're doing, like the videos or the music or the content, just hit us up and we're taking all applications. Like for now, as long yeah for now until we're like too boxed up in like a month where we can't do anything. So yeah. But mate, it's gonna be it's gonna be lit, boys. We we're, we're going ahead. I think that's probably a good place to wrap it up. Yeah. No. Uh, thanks so much for coming on Thank the old you. podcast. It's been, it's been a lot of fucking fun. Um, it's mate. been an emotional roller coaster yeah. as always. I'll definitely so be on another, again. Drink, Let's have bro. one more. One more. One more Brazil drink. Mate, there's nothing left of mine. <laughs> that's so bad. Huh? It all got absorbed into my lungs. All oh, right. Yeah, you definitely can't let my parents watch this. You shout out Louis' parents. Don't send this to them. Don't do that. Sam, Sam, please no. <laughs> don't don't dick, click Sam. on the extra browser, bro. <laughs> <All right>. Don't. <laughs> Check out my new singles on their out. 
Check huh? out his new singles. Yo, if Bobby. you don't check it out, come to some fucking murder your whole family. Thank you so much for um, enjoying our Corona sponsor us because we're gonna get demonetized for every podcast. Virus, virus. This, this man, this man cannot handle his drink. Um, and yeah, and Bo. I, don't know, I, I don't know. I guess let us know what you think and let us know if you want to be on the next podcast. I guess. Message me, gonna, you fuckers. We're going to definitely do a lot more because I, I really enjoyed this. So. Yeah, mate. It's been fun. It's the been, content is great. It's been fun. There's loads of content like this coming, like not just podcasts and music videos and music. We're going to do crazy, crazy challenge shit. Challenge shit. We'll fucking shove a cactus up our asses. We don't even care. You'll do that. I mean, um, but you know, shit like that. Like, like we'll do, we'll copy hot ones. We'll do some, you know, crazy shit for an uh, artist near you. But um, Most importantly, check out Little Room. Yeah, little root, little check root, out. little root, little root, yeah. and check out face, face, right. face, face. Uh, F's the power of C E. C E. We got a lot of stuff coming, pretty much. Check so. that shit. Yeah, we're well, gonna be, you're gonna be spam. Like, yeah, yeah, the end. yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good fun. No, thank you. Thank you. No, fuck you.